Recently, crypto ETFs have become a hot topic, not because they're a new idea, but because they're finally materializing in stock exchanges. Canada is proving to be the leader in this area for now, as a Bitcoin ETF has recently begun trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and three Ethereum ETFs have been simultaneously approved by Canadian regulators. So let's get to know ETFs and investigate their potential in the crypto space. Hi, I'm Josh from Femex Team. Before we start this video, please remember to like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. In the world of investments, cryptocurrencies and ETFs are at opposite ends of the spectrum. Cryptocurrencies are unregulated, decentralized digital assets that often garner institutional skepticism. While ETFs, exchange-traded funds, are diverse investment vehicles and are a cherished favorite of fund managers and investment advisors across the world. For investors focused primarily on gains, ETFs offer a simple, convenient alternative to trading individual assets since they represent a basket of underlying financial assets. They're also a great way for traders to diversify their portfolios and manage risk. Recently, the cryptocurrency market cap is higher than ever, and the innovative leaps in DeFi technology over the last few years have inevitably drawn the eyes of financial institutions. However, the blockchain industry is no stranger to moody markets, and if there's one thing that gets hedge fund managers nervous, it's volatility risk. Bitcoin prides itself in its lack of a trusted intermediary, but despite having a market capitalization of nearly $1.2 trillion, the world's first cryptocurrency is still largely unregulated. The current regulatory atmosphere for blockchain-based tokens is vague, which isn't the ideal environment to attract institutional investors. So let's talk about what is a crypto ETF? Despite hurdles to overcome, the sheer profit potential on display over the last year has institutions begging for a less risky way in, and a crypto ETF might just be the answer. So let's talk about why it might be the answer by looking at the benefits of a crypto ETF. Since crypto ETFs would only track the value of the cryptocurrency they are associated with, investors could enter the realm of cryptocurrencies without going through the process of buying their tokens and storing them. But this raises the question of why people wouldn't rather invest in some cryptos directly. Taking secure custody of your crypto is a complex and sometimes expensive ordeal, but an ETF could completely eradicate this problem. However, the removed cost of custody and greater convenience aren't its only advantages. Another crucial benefit would be investors' ability to short sell the ETF in fear of a price drop, a feature that isn't possible in regular cryptocurrency markets. They are also much better understood across the financial industry. And as digital assets like Bitcoin become increasingly attractive, creating simpler investment routes is in the industry's best interest. The demand for a crypto ETF has never been higher. Some argue that crypto ETFs are unnecessary in today's financial environment. But regardless of its benefits, limitations, or potential impact on global economies, the demand for crypto ETFs has never been higher. According to a study from Gemini in 2021, Less than 8% of investors above the age of 55 were invested in digital assets, a meager fraction compared to the nearly 28% of millennials that hold cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency is a monetary revolution, but it does have a rather steep learning curve. Wallet addresses, seed phrases, and private keys are a lot to think about when you're used to a certain way of dealing with money. And most older investors just aren't tech savvy enough to learn new tricks. Additionally, Jim and I found that IT and telecom industries were the top career choices for cryptocurrency investors, further cementing the link between investment likelihood and tech savviness. Access to a crypto ETF on a large stock exchange would significantly lower the barrier to entry for cryptocurrency investments and allow a broader demographic to enter the space. As more money enters the cryptocurrency ecosystem, Bitcoin and other digital assets could further safeguard their place as a more standard investment. Market commenters have long claimed that crypto's volatility and lack of an ETF are the most significant hindrances to enterprise adoption, but the real problem lies at the regulatory level. That being said, the launch of an ETF would have a substantial number of investors ready to inject funds, picked as the most significant factor by a considerable 37% of surveyed advisors. Exchange-traded funds offer an array of benefits such as quick diversification, greater liquidity, higher tax efficiency, and the ability to purchase expensive stocks in small amounts. So let's first look at the lower costs. 
ETFs can also lower costs since they allow investors to purchase a diversified portfolio for the same low commission as a stock. Additionally, compared to mutual funds, ETFs generally have lower expense ratios. There are hundreds of ETFs currently trading on stock exchanges in the United States, spanning various indices, sectors, industries, and market capitalizations. ETFs are also classified into assets from specific countries, and there are even exotic ones like commodities, bear funds, and leveraged funds. Since they trade on market exchanges, they can be traded whenever stocks can, and not just at the end of the day like with mutual funds. This is especially advantageous for underlying assets that have relatively high volatility, like most cryptocurrencies. ETFs are usually not managed actively, are instead programmed to chase a specific index. This means that they may not have high capital gains or income to give owners every year, giving investors more control over when they are taxed. Like stocks, there are also avenues to create more intricate position sizes, with no minimum investment required to scale in and out of a position. So, what's the world's first Bitcoin ETF? While the United States has seen some friction against starting a Bitcoin ETF from regulators, the world's first Bitcoin ETF was launched in February this year in Canada. In just two days of its launch, the ETF saw $400 million in trade volume. And as of April, nearly 17,000 BTC worth of the ETF has been sold, a sharp rise from the sub-10,000 BTC reported a month prior. The earlier mentioned Bitwise report also shows that 65% of people surveyed would prefer to invest in an exchange-traded fund, an overwhelming proportion compared to the 16% who said they prefer direct ownership. While the percentage of users that preferred directly purchasing Bitcoin remained largely the same, the demand for ETFs rose from 62% since the year before. The SEC has approved arguably more dangerous investment vehicles in the past, especially in terms of volatility. In fact, there are around 70 ETFs in the United States that present higher volatility levels than Bitcoin. For example, the Direction Daily S&P 500 Beta Bear 3x Shares ETF has a 60-day standard deviation of between 100% and 200%, while Sweden's Bitcoin ETP's standard deviation is only about between 25% and 100%. The real issue lies in the maturity of the cryptocurrency space and whether it has the infrastructure to meet the requirements of regulators in the United States. According to Kathy Wood, CEO of ARK Investment Management, the SEC may not be comfortable approving a Bitcoin ETF until they see a $2 trillion in demand. So now that we've talked about the desire for ETFs and the possible advantages of crypto ETFs, let's real quick look at the possible disadvantages of crypto ETFs. First is high management fees, which can add up to large sums over extended periods. Since there is the possibility of a price difference between the ETF and the spot market, there can be inaccuracies in its market value due to discounts, premiums, and net asset value. The second problem is the obvious problem of centralized decentralization. Crypto ETFs would operate centrally, which flies completely in the face of what blockchain technology was created to achieve. ETFs built around a specific cryptocurrency also limit investors to profiting from that cryptocurrency alone, where directly investing in a diversified portfolio of tokens, including altcoins like Ethereum and Polkadot, could bring more stability and profit potential to the fund. So to wrap up, the average investor today is capable of understanding the risks of investing in a crypto ETF. Cryptocurrencies are known to be volatile and somewhat experimental in their approach to financial applications, but while introducing an asset without proper safeguards can be highly destructive to an economy, the potential benefits could be limitless. Not only will investment from large institutions bring more resources into the blockchain industry, but crypto ETFs could even make a digital asset marketplaces significantly more efficient. If you don't have a Femex account yet, just click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. Create a Femex account and you will get a 7-day free premium membership trial and other trading bonuses. To learn more about Femex and cryptocurrencies, Watch out the videos in the box on the left. And if you're new to the crypto world, have a look at the videos on the right for some of Femex's user tutorials. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.